and welcome back here to Singapore. I was here first time in 1978 and how this city has changed, you cannot believe. It's really magnificent, all the tall buildings and the cleanliness of this city, absolutely fantastic. And here we have the order of play and we are ready for the men's singles, Chong Wei Fong from Malaysia against Zhao Bin of China. And uh, we will look at the second quarter here from the top, where we have the two unseeded players, Zhang Wei Fong of Malaysia, Chao Bin of China, and they are up against either the top seed or the number eight seed, the winner of this match. And here we have Wei Fong, Chong Wei Fong from Malaysia, leading the two players onto court. Bin of China. So Chao Bin in the picture has been a player from China that China has pushed quite hard in the men's singles. Today he's 25 years of age. As you can see, he's 1 0 up against uh, Wei Fong, but that was in 2015, I don't Black. really think you can count that one in oh. now. Oh. Chao Bin is uh, 38 on the world ranking, and the best he has ever been is uh, just about a year ago, when he was number 14 on that world ranking. So he has slipped some, and uh, maybe China is looking for other players to take over and see how they can replace the great Lin Dan and Chen Long and these players of that caliber. And here in the picture, Chong Wei Fong, age 31, 170 centimeters, his ranking is 47. He has been as high as 12 on that world ranking, but that was yeah, five years ago, the 2nd of May. Wei Fong's uh, way to this uh, quarterfinal it was against two players uh, from Thailand. The first round win against Abba Hingsanon was a really good win because Abba Hingsanon is a player in good form lately. Got to the semi final of uh, Thailand Open just last week and winning 22 20 in that third game in 69 minutes. It was a very good win for Chong Wei Fong. Asian flag and Zhao Bin of China, age 25, 180 centimeters. As earlier mentioned, number 38 on the world ranking, and the highest has been 14. At the moment, he is also number 57 on what we call the World Tour Finals, the road to Guangzhou in China, end of the year, and only top eight qualifies. So he's far out of that list so far, but let's see whether he can pick up here in Singapore Open. The way to uh, the quarterfinal here for Chao Bin has been uh, much more comfortable. Ready to He's play. won both his matches in two games in 54 and 50 minutes, but hasn't really been under pressure. Flag and the uh, umpire for this match is Jess Chan of uh, Singapore. And the service judge is IG of Japan. So we're soon ready to begin this match. And for both these two players, it will be a, a great win to win 
and to progress to that Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow. on my right, Chong Wei Fong, Malaysia. And on my left, Tiao Ping, China. Chong Wei Fong to serve. Le Vol, play. Well, this could be a really interesting match. It could probably go either way. Chung Wei Feng, really good at the net. Sharp shots. Um, One, but on the other side, the, the Chinese, Tiao Bin, he's really struggled the last little while. He's, he's lost a, a lot of first round uh, opponents. Uh, one of the reasons, though, he's not seated, so he's had some bad draws. He's so physically over. strong and, and One. using a slow oh. shuttle. Uh, I think that's to his advantage. He, he plays it really well and uh, can get on the attack. Yeah, you're very, very right that uh, since, uh, since the All England in March, he has lost the first round in every single tournament he has played. But to be fair, he has played Lin Dan and Chen Long in at least two of them, as far as I remember. Li Chung Wei is, yeah. And Li Chung Wei yes. is. Yeah. So it's not been easy draws for him, that's for sure. And then last, uh, just recently at the Thailand Open, he lost to Tommy Sugiarto. So first round, 14 and 15, two, so. One. Yeah, Tommy has been playing quite well lately, so um, so again, it must be considered a tough draw. Yes, yeah. It's, yeah, when you have draws like that, if you're not seated, it makes a big difference, and you're not meeting yeah. one of these players first off, you'll maybe quarters, but uh, yeah, when you get bad draws like that, it's, it's tough to get into it. Oh! Service over. Two. All. Chung's racket is so skillful, too. He moves it, jiggles it, just tries to put him off a little. Wiggle in the racket before he hits it. Yeah, technically, uh, Chung Wei Fong is a, is a strong player. However, when it comes to his Whoa. attack, one has so to say that he lacks a bit. Uh, he hasn't really got that power, Three. so he's got to work oh. really hard for his points. And uh, coming back to his 2018, he has not survived the second round this year, apart from China Masters. So um, he has been in a kind of a similar situation. Yeah, it's tough. Mentally, <laughs> uh, mentally uh, it's so Four, tough three. too to, you know you can beat a lot of the rest of the draw, but when, you, when you're playing some of the top ones, it, it's hard to get in that groove again. So one of these will be into the semifinals tomorrow and that'll be a big boost. Oh, the shuttle stops a little bit on this side, so you, you go up, make sure you hit it a little bit sooner than that, but that goes into the net. shot there gets up goes straight that one in that time cross yeah you see him trying to open up the court Chung try to find the spots yeah, good defense here good shot by oh. 
And that cross court is making it, so a point for Malaysia, five all. Saw a few of those short lifts onto the forehand. Do you think he's doing that on purpose to get the uh, defense there? Oh. No, I don't think so. I think he's cautious about the fact going that he's going, uh, it's going out of the back. Yeah, good reactions here by Chung Wei Fong. Five all. Born in the state of Kida, Malaysia. Oh. Service over. Six. Five. There he goes cross again. Yeah, that was so a good recovery over. shot. Six. In. All. Nice shot to put him in the corner, but not enough. Service so over. Let me see the drift on the back of the Seven. line. If it's Gonna be Six. close, you should play it on especially on that side because it'll it'll fall in, so First, the defensive shot, cross court, got Six the lift, over. and then playing that one cross court as well. Really play well. Seven. Good defensive all. shot here, and then back to where his opponent was coming from. Really nicely played. It's always difficult to go back to the same spot a lot of the time. It is. Xiao Bin is really trying to find his backhand, though. Really trying to pick on Chong's backhand. Yeah, but in all fairness, it's, it's fairly easy to find. <laughs> uh, Wei Feng doesn't... He's not that strong overhead like what we see here. Good smash down the line, nice follow-up, beautifully played. But most of the time, he, he favours to play that backhand. So that backhand is fairly easy to find. And that's one of the problems in, in Wei Feng's game because that means that there's kind of a safe haven Eight, somewhere. If you, you, can, you can always kind of safely put it into his backhand. Not a lot will happen over there. And that is something that he needs to look at. Now, would it be better trying to go around the head to be faster? Uh, or yeah, He must go around the head and put more pressure on. Xiao Bin. So this all that's what he's doing, keeping the pressure on, trying to get on attack. Eight. Not give away the oh. easy lifts. He has so much power in his forehand. Watch how he just snaps it down. Especially when he's coming to the net though. Just watch how loose his racket is. He just snaps it at the last second. And the power in the in the fingers and the forearm that he generates, it's it's fantastic. Smash that power. 
good placement. Chopping. Yeah, Wei Fong had a chance. Eight. That was actually precisely that shot we just saw the very last off. He had that chance where he could really have whacked it at the body, really driving it. He had the opportunity. He he chose to block it, and I think that was coming down to a missed opportunity. A shot, yeah, out of reach. So it's over. I have though that feeling that had he left it, Nine, it might have gone out. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. But good play here by Chung Wei Fong. Oh, so back in again. So it's over. 11 9 oh. interval. And we go into the mid-game interval here, 11-9 for Chao Bian in just 10 minutes. And uh, John Wei Fong here, he was uh, part of the Thomas Cop team. In uh, 2014, that went to Delhi, India, and uh, they got the Hot silver. One, he played the second seconds. singles. Hot one, and in 2015, he uh, won the gold in the Southeast Asian Championship, and that actually was also played here in Singapore in the same hall. So maybe that's a good omen for him. When it comes to his uh, opponent, Chao Bin, he was uh, part of the Thomas Cop team in uh, this year, 2018 edition. And uh, of course, as we all know now, Clean. the team won. He played one match in the campaign. Well left out. Twelve nine. But that time it's Tom right that he goes around the head. He, it is a little extra hard work in the movement, but... Uh... It's, it's the right thing. The smash down the line, uh, it's, um, there's a challenge on it, and, and Wei Fong is challenging it, it's call out, and uh, Hawkeye is saying it's out, so a challenge unsuccessful. Challenge unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. So... Uh, Wei Fong unsuccessful on, on this challenge, nine. which means there's just got one left. You've got two in Eight. a game, and if you're unsuccessful, you lose it. Are you successful, you maintain it. 9-13. It's another one out the back. 14-9. Looking at this from the Malaysian point of view, then uh, I think there's uh, a cause for concern here because uh, Chao Bin is definitely slipping away here, 49 up, and uh, find it difficult to see where Wei Fong is going to, to win his points. Now, 15, uh, six points nine. between the two players, 15 9. Well, Chung Wei Fong really hitting out, making those easy mistakes, so um, he, he's not going to be able to win it if he keeps making these mistakes out the side. Bring it in, don't aim from the line. If you're, if you're off a little bit, you have to even be more care careful. That's a very, very nice shot by Chao Bin there. 
really a very nice finish, the way that he's going across it and play it down the line, try to have a look at it, 16, that's it. Nine. Most players will go cross-court on a shot like that. He, however, chose to go down the line. Perfect play. And there it is. Again, he has so much power in that for forehand 17. that uh, really Nine. holds it and then snaps it into that corner. Yeah, it's a very healthy lead now for Chao Bin, 17-9. I know that he's standing uh, on the good end of the court at the moment, but I must say he's looking strong. Oh, getting that one back as well. 18, Stuck in it. Good defense, nine. just getting it back. Watch this. There's the first one. Really deep on defense. Just in. So a lot of other spots that I think he could have hit on the court. Mm. Good attack down the line there by Zhao Bin. 19, 9. It looks like a formality now. This first game should be in the bag for the Chinese. And it will be interesting to see whether Wei Feng can do something about it when he get onto the other side of the court and play against over. the drift, where it means he can Ten, use the, the back end hit. of that court much, much better. Yes, exactly. Maybe just that alone, getting into the rallies. He likes to run, a, plays good net, uh, so maybe that'll make the difference. Let's see, it's definitely a tall order for this gentleman in the picture to catch up. He's 19-10 down. Eleven, nineteen. Oh, wild out the side. Those are the mistakes that are costly. Service over. Twenty game point. Eleven. Can you see him come up over that shot? Goes right down the line and gives Bing game point. Is that one over? game point? Going out. 13, Saves another game 20. point here, but uh, as I said earlier, it's a tall order trailing by seven points here. Let's see what uh, Chung Wei Fong can do when the uh, second game begins. Oh. Uh, it's a wild smash cross court for Chiao Bin, but uh, this is the time to try 20. if you want to add on to your game. Game. Game first 40. game, nice and strong and steady, trying to get on attack, but uh, definitely controlling the whole match. Yeah, and here we got the confirmation, 21-14 in 18 minutes. Zhao Bin against Chong Wei Feng from Malaysia. say safely out of that back line way out and uh, 
it will be interesting to see what kind of game plan that Chong Wei Fong is coming up with at the beginning of this second game. Two years ago, this man in the picture had a very great win when he won the Korean Open in 2016, where he beat Son Wan Ho in that final 21-11. 21-23 and then 21-7 in that last and final game. So a physically very strong player from China. And when it comes to Chong Wei Fong of uh, Malaysia, as I said, he played the second singles in 2014. Thomas Kopp, he also played the second singles in 2016, where he played a very, very crucial part in the Malaysian team winning the group stages against uh, Korea, where he won his second men's singles. Second game, the ball, play. A good start here for Chao Bin. Two love up. Just going along with that back line. Very unfortunately for Chong Wei Fong here. That time finding the corner. So it's yep. over. That's perfect. One, two. Set up nice and fast. Jogging. That's a little too much. Two. Oh. Chong Wei Fung has really good net, but we haven't really seen it in this match, and I, I think that's what he'll need to do to be able to to set up the rest of the game. He must set it up around the net as well. Um, of course, but it's it's so tempting now, isn't it, that uh, you, you play against the drift so and you can over. push to the back line. It's so tempting to do it. So again, Three, he must two. try to, to mix it up really well. As you said, still playing the net, but also pushing at the back. So, you know, it's it's, it's going to be very tricky for him in, in many ways, but he must be on the attack. You, can, you cannot win by just being a defensive player. Yes. And it's his mistakes. That, that was an easy mistake that you saw in the first game that uh, Four, really made two. it spread. Having difficulties finding the court. Yeah, I think he he is finding it difficult. It's, it's tough for him with the drift here. He he's sort of a, a what what I would call a stroke player. And, and if you can't find the the corners, you know, really tight and neat, then then you're in trouble. And today it seems like he can't really find those lines. As well, I've seen him play on previous occasions. Right, yes. Yeah. And you just have to bring it in just like that. Work so at it. Over. Build up that confidence before you uh, go right at the lines. And broken string. Copy. 
talking to the stringers earlier, 30, 34, 35 pounds down there. Actually, the men's singles isn't as tight as the uh, men's doubles strings. Did you like it nice and tight, Morton, or? Um, I, not as tight as what they play today. The strings they play today are, are so tight, but I think I was, okay. what, around 28, Three, 29, four. 30, perhaps. But today they're more than 30. Yes, yeah. So uh, they are, they're, they're stringing the rackets extremely tight. So as soon as you miss it, of course, the, the strings are gone. That's what I hated the most was the fact that if you slightly miss hit it or you know for whatever reason that you, you're giving two easy points away and that's why I, I prefer to hold back on, on that a little bit. I'm not saying that it was a completely loose string in my yeah. hand, but I, I like to take it back just a little bit to have so a little bit more over. control. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the tighter the strings, you lose that uh, control as well. Yeah. Maybe faster, maybe hit harder, but. Uh, it's really Five, difficult, especially for a three. beginner player, to have tight strings. Yep. See Chao Wing Fung really not going for the lines now, bringing the shuttle in, putting down on those mistakes. There it is. Yeah, it's so definitely it's a safer bet. And especially when you're having Four, a day where it maybe five. not works so much in your favor, then there's only one thing to do is, as you say, play it a little bit more safe and uh, then you have to run more. Yeah, <laughs> run down the shots. Yeah. Four, five. shot. Nice cross court. Nice and easy. Actually, it was when Chung was coming down, he hit it, so it wasn't high. A little weight on that shot and uh, beautifully placed. Five. All. And he brings it up at five apiece. Service over. Kelbing. Nice smash. Six. Five. That's what he does so well, too. He'll smash, watch his footwork, and he's already pushing to come in for the next shot. Stays in. That, there it is. So it's over. More control on that side. Six. All. That's why I say in a, in a situation like this, it's, it's so tempting to to use that drift against you and play to the back line because you know you, you get that kind of help and, and play the net might be a little bit so more risky. Over. So you're so tempted to play the Seven. safe one, and this is what Chong Wei uh, Wei Fung is doing, and. Um, and I, I think I, I can understand him. I understand why he's playing these shots, and it's uh, he's just seven six down now, but he's still in there with a good chance in this second game. So uh, let's see how it goes. Good attack on that one there. Read at the body. Tried to go through his legs. Comes up nice and quick. There it is.
Well, I remember here it, signing it well when she first won the tournament uh, back in 2010. I remember watching her, and she has that power. But she was so clever. She has these smashes that go deep into the corner, and, and that's one of her huge weapons, and it works so well here. The big power, big flat smash, and it was hard to get out. Mm. Yeah, she's still a, a top 10 player. Seven all. After all these years. Yeah, to be able to keep that for over eight years, Wait. it's... Uh, it's pretty good. Yes. So it's over. She has a huge following. Eight. Former number Seven. one in the world, but over in India. Great role model, and uh, now you have PB Sindhu as well. That was really, really well played by Wei Fong there. That cross court. Uh, I think oh. he's doing very well when it comes to these flat exchanges and play into the court and all that. He's, he's quite comfortable. And now when he can lift against the drift, the game is, is, is coming alive for him. Uh, it's looking good now. Eight all. Oh. And we have a challenge, yes. Might have. Hit the line, but the Tong Wei Fong challenges call in. Way out. Correction out. So it was a successful challenge. Zhang Weifeng here, nine eight up in the second game, having lost the first. It all fairly convincingly, twenty one fourteen. Play. Sorry, my mistake. Eight all. Correction. Nine eight. Oh, okay, I wasn't wrong at all. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't wrong at all. Uh, suddenly, I thought I was wrong. Nine eight. You're never wrong, Morton. Uh, I am. I am wrong sometimes, <laughs> for sure. But I thought I had this one right. See, in this game, I, I feel that uh, Wei Fong is, is fairly comfortable getting out of trouble quite well. I see he's more confident playing the shots. And I think that uh, Chao Bin is, is really doing the right thing. He's, he's going on his attack as best as he can. And, and really trying to, to score his points, especially playing this side. So I, th I think he is doing very well as well. That's going out. Try for the reverse. Drop shot on that. Too much and out the side. Ten, eight. Opens up the racket watch. Comes here. That's the one. So it's over. Nine, all. Shots. first of all, goes cross on that. Looks like it's over. And nice nine. And Chung Wei Fung just places it back. Watch us. Nice and low. Yeah, it was a difficult shot. He, he got away with it uh, under normal circumstances. He, I think he would have lifted it. And Chao Bin was expecting that. That's why the shot became so effective. Uh, tai Zhu Ying does so well, it's so low, and she can still yeah, place it back to the net with a so trick shot. 
ten, all. So it's been five or six or seven or eight or nine or and ten or. Can you back and neck? Yeah, that's unusual. Good shot there by Xiaobin. Eleven ten interval. And that smash goes out, and uh, Xiaobin is into the uh, mid-game interval with the. Small lead of 11-10 in the first game. It was actually 11-9. So in 16 minutes, here we got the confirmation. 11-10. Thank you. Hot one, 20 seconds. Hot one, 20 seconds. 11-10. Play. It's over, 11, all. Oh, what a smash. Yeah, you can see he was leaping up there. He was really going for it. And uh, so 11. far, all his smashes has been going down the line here like this, in a situation like this. So, again, some anticipation would have been nice. Especially about the left hand, that, that would be his forehand. So. Exactly. Yeah. Go cross court on it. Found, really set that up nicely, 11. but it, uh, the mistake into the net. And we missed the opportunity for 12 all. <laughs> That's Can you believe that? We <laughs> had 11 all as well. Yes, I noticed <laughs> that as well, yeah. that net shot that so you were talking over. about earlier if he can win that net mm. then get on attack yeah 12 13 net shot to set it up There's a put away. Oh. Wait to the floor. Almost to the floor, but again, Chong Wei found oh. really confident coming to the net. Watch it. This is where he set it up. Nice tumble. Short lift. Punished all the way. Is it tied again, Morton? It's 13 all. I didn't want to mention it, that we only missed the 12. <laughs> oh! yeah, the 
That's a good play from both players here. This is what men's singles is all about, that initiative at the net, played back when the opponent is still standing there, having the guts to, su to do so. And uh, here is a very fine example. Well played there, but well played once again by Chao Bin. But he's trying to get it back there. Good play. You just see the speed now with Chong Weifeng really trying to get there faster and, and yeah, beat him at the net. Uh, Chao Bin wants the court to be mopped and uh, the umpire is not allowing it to say you should foot and then, you know, get ready, get on with it. See, it's a man that's sweating a lot. His t shirt is completely wet. Great pressure. So, this all her? Tailbin. Yeah, it's, it's not a really hot <laughs> venue either, so it's, it's a work that they're doing out there. It's no. actually, there's a little bit of a drift here. Your, my hands are a little <laughs> cold up here, actually. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the air conditioning just at our back. Breathing down the neck. So there, there's other venues like in Indonesia. It's uh, extremely hot when Play. you're playing. Yeah. It's been working hard on the court. <laughs> so this over. It's the right spot, but unsuccessful. 16. Yeah, <laughs> look at the reaction from uh, Chen Weifeng here. Try to have a look at his legs. Try to see that. Uh, oh. He completely lost his footing on that one. Good disguise, but uh, not good enough as it uh, went into the net. And, uh, Weifeng is 16-14 up. Played by Zhao Bin here. 16, Got one of these oh. impossible shots back. <laughs> and yes, you can only shake your head if you are supporting Chong Wei Fong from Malaysia. Look at how he got that one back. Uh, little, sorry, but no, I'm not. I got it. Yeah, that's well played. 16 all. Been really looking to go to the net, 16. putting that pressure on Chong Wei Feng. I know he has good net, but now he needs to pop one into the back uh, just to keep him uh, more honest. Yeah, Chao Bin here was asked not to throw the sweat outside the court, and uh, you know when you've had that habit for since ever. You play it, and hard. then suddenly a rule is coming up and saying, no, you can't do it anymore. Oh. It's not easy to, to change it, no, in and, all and fairness. And like you so mentioned, over. how much he's sweating. Where, yeah. where can you put it, like if, yeah. if your hand's wet or whatever, you, it's hard to put on back on your clothes. It is. 
Good play here by Wei Fong. Good smash down the line. And this time, uh, Chao Bin is, is allowed to get the, the court mopped and towel down as well. So, um, 17 all it is. When you played Morton, did you use towel grip? I did. You did? Yes. Thank you. I did. I was uh, sweating quite a lot. So on, on many occasions when I was playing matches, I, I had to change rackets just because of the grip, Juicy not because evidence. of the strings. Yes. It, yeah. You see less and less towel grips. 17. Oh. Yeah, but in, the, in those days, I know, <laughs> we were talking about donkey years ago. There was no air conditioning here in, in Asia when we played. Right. So. Yeah. There's no way that you could hold these new modern oh, grips. Yeah. It will last two minutes. Right. You know, so it's a little bit tackier. Yeah. I, th I think 18, the grips are tackier now. 17. So a little change in the technology as well. Yeah, but still, in, in those days, you know, a tiling grip would be by far the by best. By far the best. Yeah. Not to mention in the venues in, in the Far East, the, the yeah, smoking as well. Yeah. It, when you used to play, which is, in people wouldn't days, believe that yeah. now, but even the hard to breathe back then. Yeah. So it's over. It was different. 18. It was very all. different. And still neck and neck, 18 apiece. Yep. Ah! Now in the back, but unsuccessful. So it's over. It's uh, been really trying to Aiken. look forward to the net. Yeah, just two points away here. Clinched the first game, 21-14. Yeah, no! So match two point. match point coming up Eight. here for Chao Bin. 20 match point, 18. And I think he has done really well controlling that uh, this second game here. He's played on the difficult side and he's done well. Yes, exactly. Not many out the back and, and just really controlled, trying to look at the net uh, first. Oh, what a smash. Yeah, a good smash down the line. And once again, the same shot proved to be really efficient and gave a point here for the winner, Chao Bin of China, winning 21-14, 21-18. The scores look a little bit easy, I think. It's not completely fair. This second game was close. Yeah, all the way. It was neck and neck, the totally. Just to the end, two points, Match and then uh, finally Chelsea. the th third point. But 21 14. Chao Bin, really 18. strong, going to the net quick, moved their base up, and took control, waited for that opportunity, big smashes down the line, and takes the match into the semifinals. And here we got the confirmation, 21-14, 21-18. And Chao Bin is uh, ready for tomorrow's semi-final.